As soon as I opened my eyes, I discovered myself in a huge unfamiliar room. But how did I get here? I don't understand. Because I was in the shopping mall. And after shopping I was heading towards my car. Suddenly someone grabbed my mouth from behind. And then I don't remember what happened. Oh no it means someone kidnapped me. What will gonna happen to me now? Aish I have a headache due to tension. Whose room am I in now? I don't even know. But looking at this room I understand. It must be a rich man's room. Because the room is decorated with very expensive furniture. Which can only be bought by a rich person. But why did someone kidnap me and bring me here? I do not understand. And I can't see anyone in this room either. Whom I will ask that. How did I get here? I stretched my legs to get out of bed thinking of thousands though. And then a boy entered the room. I missed my heartbeat when I saw the boy. Because the boy is incredibly handsome. I think for the first time in my life I'll have had a crush on him. Oh you are awake. Good morning baby, I said with a sweet smile. Wow my first crush called me baby. I can't believe. Baby are you shocked? I smilingly asked Jungkook. Yes yeah, so shocked. Jungkook unknowingly said. It's normal baby. I smirkingly said. Hum. Okay now go freshen up. And came back quickly. I made breakfast for you. Hum. Jungkook got out of bed to freshen up after hearing the sweet talk of his first crush. But as soon as Jungkook stepped forward, he stopped. Because he remembered. He was kidnapped and brought here. Which he didn't remember for so long. Because he was not in his right mind that time. But now he is in his right mind. So he looked at Ty and started asking questions. Who are you? Why you kidnap me? And why you calling me baby? Hearing so many questions from Jungkook Ty giggled. And walked towards Jungkook pulled his cheek and said. Oh my baby bunny you're asking me these questions after all this time. I thought you would ask these questions the first time you saw me. Now Jungkook was a little embarrassed to hear those from Chai. Because Tai is right. Jungkook should have asked these questions earlier. But now it can't be understood by Chai. So Jungkook took care of himself and looked at Tai and said. I asked you some questions. Answer me. Who are you? And why did you kidnap me? Oh my baby cookie relax. I'm not going anywhere. You go and get fresh. Then maybe we'll have breakfast together. And I will answer your questions. What does breakfast mean? I was kidnapped in the evening. So how was the morning? If I don't understand anything, Jungkook said in confusion. Yeah baby you were kidnapped in the evening. But because of using too much chloroform on you. Took so much time to wake you up. OMG that means I've been sleeping since last evening. Jungkook said in shock. Yeah baby. You kidnapper. I will kill you today. How dare you to keep me sleeping for so long. Saying these words. Jungkook grabbed the front part of Tai's t-shirt. And started punching on Tai's chest. Relax baby bunny cookie relax. I just make you sleeping. I didn't do anything else. Believe me. Tai said holding Jungkook's both hands. What do you mean by you didn't do anything? You pervert. Jungkook said in angry tone. Hey mind your language. Don't cross your limit. Tai hugged Jungkook's waist and clung to him. Tai gritted his teeth in anger and said. Will you fix my limitations now you kidnapper? Jungkook said trying to free himself from Chai. Yeah I will fix it, if it need to be. So now go get freshen up. Otherwise I will refresh you myself. Tai said with a naughty smile. Jungkook is shockingly looks at Tai with wide eyes. And he smilingly went to Jungkook's ear and said. What happened baby bunny? Why are you still standing? Do you want me to refresh you myself? 
Leave me you pervert kidnapper, Jungkook pushed Tai with both of his hands and said, I haven't done anything like being pervert. But I promise if you force me I will do something like pervert, Tai said with a wink, what leave me? What have I done to you? Why are you doing this to me? I don't even know you. So why did you kidnap me? Yeah baby you don't know me. But I know you very well. How do you know me? Jungkook asked in shock. I will tell you everything baby, but not now. So now you go and get fresh. Then I will tell you everything while having breakfast. If now I want to tear his silky hair. How can I have had a crush on him? I don't understand myself now. Why are you still standing as a statue? Go get freshen up. Yeah I'm going, Jungkook said with a frown. You know where the washroom is. Have I come to this house before? How can I know where the washroom is? Jungkook said with an angry look. Yeah that's right baby boy. Let me take you to the washroom. Aish saying so many times baby he is trying to melt me, clever kidnapper. Baby stop talking to yourself. And go inside. You are arrived at the washroom. Jungkook looked at Tai annoying. And go inside to get freshen up. After some time Jungkook came outside. And Tai picks Jungkook up in bridal style. Hey what are you doing? Why did you take me in your arms? Leave me, Jungkook said trying to free himself from Kyai. Oops come down baby. Don't waste your energy like this. Because if I don't get you off from my arms, you won't be able to get out, even if you try a hundred times, Tai smirkingly said, after listening to Tai Jungkook trying to calm himself down. And said in a calm voice. Why are you doing this to me? You don't look like a kidnapper. Then why are you doing this kind of thing? Can you tell me? And who are you what do you want? Hearing Jungkook's words, Tai smiled and took Jungkook to the dining room and put him in a chair. Then he sat next Jungkook. And then Tai took Jungkook's both hands in his hand. Looking into Jungkook's eyes Tai said. I am not a professional kidnapper baby bunny. I kidnap you just because I love you. And my name is Kim Tae Hyung. I am a doctor. Jungkook is surprised to hear Tai's words. And now he is looking at Tai with wide eyes. It's as if he can't believe his ears. The one who kidnapped him just because he was in love with him. Jungkook can't believe that because no one has ever proposed to him before. Baby I know you are shocked. But it's true that I love you. From four years ago. And now I can't wait anymore. So please be mine. Tai looked at Jungkook with loving eyes and said in sweet voice. Jungkook was even more shocked to hear these words of Chai. Thousands of questions started to arise in Jungkook's mind. And Jungkook curiously started asking Chai. You saying you love me from four years ago. But how? I saw you today. So how do you know me so long ago? And if you know me and love me, then why have you never come to me before? And why don't you tell me that you love me? And why did you kidnap me today? You could have proposed marriage to my family. And, without letting Jungkook complete his word, Tai put one of his fingers on Jungkook's lips and said, Baby boy calm down. I tell you from the beginning listen to everything. Four years ago I went to Torin Forest with my friends. Then I see you for the first time. And I fell in love at first sight. There were many more peoples with you that day. Maybe you went with your family. So I didn't go to you at that moment. But my eyes were on you all the time. I returned home that day and collect all the information about you. From then on I would go to your school almost every day to see you. And before any boy came to you I would take him away from you, because I don't like any other guy around you. That time I would not go in front of you because you were too young then. I was afraid that if I went in front of you, I would get aroused in my mind. So I was waiting for you to grow up. 
I've been waiting for you for four years. And now when you have a few days left to go in adult I see you in the park with a boy. And I kidnapped you for fear of losing you. Although I had no plans to kidnap you like this. I wanted to propose marriage to directly to your family. I kidnapped you just for fear of losing you. Please don't get me wrong. I have no bad intentions. I really love you so much. Please give me a chance to love you. I promise you will never regret it. I looked at Jungkook with hopeful eyes and said in an emotional voice, I don't know what to do when I suddenly hear so much. Surprised to think that he was the reason I haven't received a proposal from anyone so far. But his love for me is so true that I can clearly see in his eyes. So without ignoring so much love, I got up from the chair and said with a smile. I'm ready to give you a chance. But there is a condition. You have to marry me. Hearing Jungkook's words, T. Hyung was overjoyed and hugged Jungkook and said, I will my baby bunny cookie. I love you so much. Please never leave me. I can't leave without you. I will never leave. My handsome kidnapper. Thank you so much baby boy. By the way who was the boy in the park baby? Leave Jungkook from her I asked in curiosity. Aish my possessive kidnapper. It was my cousin. I haven't received a proposal from anyone just because of you till today, Jungkook said and pout, I did the proposal. But you didn't answer baby, I said with sad face expression, how do I answer a sudden proposal like this? And you don't have to propose to me in such a simple way. I want a grand proposal for me. Then I will answer you. Oh really? Okay then be ready baby. Grand proposal at the gate, Tai leaned close to Jungkook's ear and said in a slow voice. After hearing Tai's words, Jungkook smiled and said. I'm waiting my handsome kidnapper. To be continue. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like comment and share. Because it would inspire me to write more FF like this. Purple you all my purple soul tea cookers.